idea with the 21st Century Robot Project is let's get as many people out there imagining robots. That's the first thing. You've got to imagine who your robot is. What's your robot's name? What do you want your robot to do? And then designing, building, and programming and sharing those robots. Because in that way, robots become a part of our lives just like our smartphones are. They become a part of our lives just like all of our other technology is. Right now, 3D printing technologies and 3D, 3D casting technologies are where microelectronics were back in the 80s. And we're on the forefront of using those to be able to revolutionize what you can do in a robot. A robot like Jimmy in this particular project could not have been built cost-effectively 15 years ago. And for the longest time, the reason why we had command and control with our computers is that that's all they could do. They didn't have the capabilities, and we were limited. We couldn't imagine these sort of wonderful relationships that we would have with these different devices. About two years ago, the technology started to catch up. We started seeing that the computational power was getting small enough that 3D printing was really starting to take off. Uh, open source app design was really something that everybody kind of understood. And you had the maker movement, this idea that you had people who were out there who had a little bit of technical ability and sometimes a lot of technical ability, but were really into sharing that ability. And that was really the idea, is that you wanted to get people together to build these, but then also share it. This whole concept of crowdsourcing stuff and opening it up to everyone is kind of a revolutionary new concept and no one really knows what will happen on it. Imagine being able to customize your robot just like you could customize your smartphone. Then let's also open source the development of it. So let's get makers and schools to say, here's the beginnings of the build of materials and the mechanics that are inside them, but say, you can build whatever you want. And the only thing is if you build something really, really awesome, just come back and share it with us so that we can put it into the book and we can put it out so other people can do it. There's so many tools out there right now that once you have the knowledge and you see the tool, you know instantly that I can take that tool and start reapplying it to my, to my own needs. And I think that it's amazing what's out there to help product developers right now. The 21st Century Robot Project began in my imagination, but now it's designed for you specifically. It's designed for who you want your robot to be. And it kind of captures a little bit of your own humanity, your own dreams, of what you want your future to be like. You can actually just print it out and then have it walk around and talk to you. I hope when people see it, that they understand that it's like a blank canvas. We can imbue our sense of humanity, our sense of culture, our dreams for the future into those devices. And then when they can walk around and talk back to us, then it becomes really delightful.